So our right to be free from discrimination is, as I said, a bit different to the absolute and non-absolute categories of the other rights. It has to be linked to one of the other rights. And it's a right to be not to be treated worse because of who you are. Sometimes you might be treated differently by a public body, but that's not always necessarily discrimination if there is a really good reason for it. So, for example, if a local authority is running a service for people with learning disabilities, this would be treating them differently because of their disability. But that is done to run a service that's needed for people with learning disabilities. So if they're going to treat people differently, it needs to be fair and right for everyone. Public services have to show that, that they're making they're considering the impact on every, every individual that might be involved in a decision. It is discrimination if different treatment is worse than for other people in the same situation, or if there are rules for everyone which have a worse impact on you. So that they're sometimes called blanket restrictions. And you might be treated worse than other people because you have mental health issues or a learning disability. And it could be for different reasons or combined reasons. Sometimes we hear, we hear about the Equality Act as well, which has nine protected characteristics, whereas the Human Rights Act also covers the right to be free from discrimination, but it can be for any reason, not just those nine characteristics, and it can be for combined reasons. For example, if you are a young black disabled woman, for example. <laughs> 